Well, it's been nearly two weeks since a devastating series of tornadoes tore through our area. Volunteers from all across the state and the surrounding states have all come here to help out. But now, Hands on Nashville is reminding volunteers this is going to be a marathon and not a sprint. And this holiday, they need more helping hands. News News, Caitlin Quisenberry spoke with volunteers about the decline in help. Power lines lie in the road. Houses are unlivable and debris still litters several yards in Madison. Driving down Nesbitt Lane or Pierce Road, tarps and wood cover windows and roofs because of the help of volunteers. But that help is dwindling. On Saturday, we had 100 volunteers out. And then yesterday, since it was Monday, people saw their normal jobs. We had 10. Every day this week, Hands on Nashville has tried to maintain a 30 person per project goal with so much still to be done. As you look around, this is not something one uh, one homeowner or even a couple of people that own a home that could handle by themselves or it would take a very long time. And in one yard, we'll spend a whole day, a few hours clearing a couple trees out, clearing the trash out of the yard, the debris, uh, cleaning it up, trying to get it back to the way it was or as close as it could be. And you notice in one yard a good difference, and then you look at the bigger picture and it feels like you didn't put a dent in it at all. The hands-on volunteer website is updated constantly to keep up with volunteer opportunities and safe work sites. They're asking tornado relief volunteers to help clean up debris, hand out meals, and assist with other tasks. Bilingual speakers are also needed to help with canvassing houses and talking with survivors. We want to be able to communicate to them in the language that they feel comfortable with so that they understand here is where you can go to receive help. So much of what we're doing out here in the field would be so much harder if there weren't people putting, you know, the care packages together, the different toiletry kits, the different uh, uh, clothes, blankets, all these different supplies that people might need. A lot of them still need it. Hands on Nashville says the goal for this weekend is to provide every family with enough food and resources to get through the holidays. If you are able to help visit our website for more information, Mark. 